a map of Western Europe, but the Netherlands was murdered and its blood was spread everywhere. It literally looks like they got got and then everything just splattered on this wall right here. There's even a couple droplets that like ricocheted, I guess. I think in reality, is this all the maps of bike paths in Europe? Yeah, this all makes total sense now. Why doesn't Africa just divide itself like North America? Are they afraid of success? In yellow, we have Saharada. In blue, the United States of Africa. In green, Mex Zulu. And finally, in red, which is just communist Cuba. And I'm pretty sure this blue part that's not attached to the United States of Africa. Yeah, this is Alaska go or something like that. What's funny about this is there actually is a United States of Africa. It does not look like this though. Well, it's a concept, but it's supposed to be just all of Africa. Where's Hawaii? It obviously has to be this. Why is the Great Wall of China inside of China? Are they protecting themselves from themselves? They clearly must not be all that smart, huh? Trust no one, not even yourself. Someone tried to tell me the Great Wall of China was to keep out Mongolia. Why wouldn't they build the wall on the Mongolian border then? Doesn't make sense. Why did Kazakhstan do this to the Ariel Sea? Were they too rich? Suffering from success. Sometimes things are just too good. You gotta give yourself a challenge. Why not just get rid of all of your water? That sounds like a fun time. Yo guys, new fantasy alternative history just dropped. What if the Czech Republic and Slovakia united into one country. We could call it something like Czechoslovakia. Yo, this actually looks so realistic and maybe we'll actually like have them get kind of smaller over time. It's so rare. I feel like I come across some hyper realistic alt history. This feels like it actually happened. The only unrealistic part about this whole thing is why would Czechoslovakia just keep the Czech flag? That's dumb. <laughs> Can't you be a little bit more creative or something? Here's my proposal for a Dutch-style land reclamation of the East China Sea and Sea of Japan. I am told this will not lead to any sort of conflict and will only benefit the people involved. What I really like about this is how easy it's gonna be. Like, this is gonna take like 2.5 seconds to just build a wall right here. And this will take like maybe a little bit longer, maybe like a week to build this wall. But obviously this wall that reaches from Japan all the way to Taiwan and China, you know, it might take like, I don't know, a month, but it's totally worth it. And it's also just so easy. Like, why not? Yo guys, question. Has anyone ever wondered why the Sahara Desert isn't populated like London is? Like, why? A lot of people live in London, but not a lot of people live in the Sahara Desert. I don't understand. There's only about 9 million people that live in this British city, right? Why wouldn't 9 million people want to live right here? This looks pretty cool. I mean, look, there's even some trees they could use. Why don't we just take the city of London and push it somewhere else? <laughs> Has anyone ever wondered, why doesn't the US just do the same thing the Dutch did? The Dutch reclaimed all this land from 1850 to 2009. Why don't we just do that with the entire Gulf of Mexico? Are we too poor? I knew I didn't have enough money for this. It seems like a pretty simple task. I'll donate one dollar to the efforts. If Mexico wants to donate a little bit too, maybe we can start the project with two dollars. What's the easiest way to transform this huge desert into a forest? even if it costs 10 trillion dollars. In other words, why doesn't Africa turn this useless area into a forest? Are they dumb? <laughs> So many people in these countries must be thinking, why didn't I think of that? What if we just made this huge inhabitable area habitable? It's genius. Okay, joking aside, this is actually kind of funny because there is something called the Green Wall. They're at least trying to stop the Sahara Desert from moving even further south and affecting more countries. In red, we have the horniest place in Africa. Ah, that's right. Of course, this would be the Horn of Africa. It is quite ho- uh... Yeah, I don't want to finish that phrase. There's no place on earth that can even come close with competing with them on this subject. Ah, the Great Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. It is a tourist attraction in Tanzania, open 24-7. Oh yeah, and it's also identifiable as woman-owned. Okay, uh, what lady owns Mount Kilimanjaro? And why haven't they told us about this just yet? Uh, to be specific, I guess it's not exactly Mount Kilimanjaro. It's the, uh, peak. The, the peak of it is, uh, woman Owned. Are we referring to Mother Nature? Is it just me or 
or you already know what I'm about to say. I almost didn't even realize that the flags were switched. This is Iran and this is Yugoslavia. Are they copying each other? Is that why Yugoslavia had to break apart? There can only be one place that is shaped like this. And unfortunately, the country that had to explode, it needed to be extremely brutal. In blue, we have all the countries that did not eat and oof the dodo bird into extinction. And in red, we have all the countries that did eat and oof the dodo bird into extinction. Quite the fascinating map, if I do say so myself. So it appears whether you're a dodo bird or a prime minister, do not go to the Netherlands. They will, in fact, eat you. What are the Netherlands not eating? Why didn't early humans migrate to Europe sooner since it's right there? Were they dumb? I mean, they started off in Africa 200,000 years ago, but they didn't reach this northern continent until 40,000 years ago? Man, early humans sure weren't based, that's for sure. Cavemen confirmed small brain. Imagine almost getting to Australia before getting to Europe. No wonder they went extinct. Yo guys, I've got a theory. Perhaps it's a game theory. The American regional designations were named based on their locations in reference to the state of Ohio. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense now. Why else would they call this part the Midwest? That never made sense to me. It's all Ohio. I can't even finish that phrase anymore. I've done it too many times. What is this gigantic circular country above Australia called? And why didn't I ever see it before. It's starting to get a little bit strange that literally nobody mentions this giant circular landmass. Also because this circular landmass only has like five miles of land in this perfectly circular shape. Meanwhile, inside there's a bunch of water in there. Then the circular landmass breaks off into two straight lines attaching itself to another circular landmass. What an insane geography fact. What are the chances of this happening? Is there anything even close to being this circular in all of Earth? I feel like we should do some research about this place. How we see Great Britain now versus how Arabian MFers in 900 AD saw Great Britain. Teapot, teapot! They was ahead of the game. Why are we so far behind Arabian MFers? It's like they can predict the future or something. In red, we have all the places which have allowed inflation. And in green, the places that banned it. Wow, Belarus is so smart for this. And look, in all the places in red, they really are dealing with inflation. Coincidence? I think not. Why isn't in the entire world banning it too? I hate inflation. Okay, this guy's asking the real questions. Is Russia just a buffer state between Norway and North Korea? Finally, someone said it. I've been thinking this for years. The world would literally explode overnight if North Korea was any closer at all to Norway. One of the problems is because they are too alphabetically in order. N-O-R, N-O-R. It'd be like a glitch in the matrix. Everything would just crash. Why doesn't Egypt just start a land reclamation project to connect both sides of Egypt. Dude, imagine if you could go from the Gulf of the Suez straight into the Mediterranean. Yo, that would be crazy. We could call it like the Suez something. I don't know. This The Suez, the Suez River. So, I don't know. Something like that. Man, we should think about making this happen. Why don't the countries in Europe finally decide to claim this unclaimed territory? It literally doesn't have a name over it. Like, you think you would want this? Are they dumb or something? It's not like there's another country that could own this land that is actually like hundreds of miles away from it. That just wouldn't make any sense at all. There's a couple of places that try to claim that this is their land, but that just doesn't make any sense. Pretty sure they're typos or something. In red, the countries that have data. In yellow, sometimes they don't have data. In green, they mostly have data. Bigger Serbia. In blue, sometimes they don't exist. And finally, in gray, no data. Wait, are they no data countries growing? Where did Sicily, the southern part of Italy, Sardinia, and Corsica go? Usually we have data about these places, but I think the friendship is growing. That's the last thing we need right now. In red, all the countries where their national anthem insults France. You know what's funny? I guarantee you this is not accurate. I almost know for a fact there is another national anthem that kind of insults France. I just don't remember which one it was, or maybe they don't exist anymore. There's a lot of innuendos in a lot of national anthems as well. Maybe they are actually insulting France, we just don't know it. Yo guys, just confirmed another buffer state. Italy is just a buffer state between San Marino and the Vatican City. This one makes even more sense because the Vatican City and San Marino aren't allowed to touch anything else. It's an even better buffer state. Yo guys, finally about to go on my dream road trip through Russia. We're starting off just next to Ukraine and we're moving way up north until we reach Moscow. Shouldn't be a very long drive and we're also gonna have a little party once we get there. Putin is 
definitely gonna enjoy that. Question, guys. Why didn't Russia attack Ukraine like this? Are they dumb or something? They would have definitely never expected it, that's for sure. Obviously, they're losing right now because they knew Russia was gonna come from this side. Now, imagine if Russia actually went this way. Boom. Talk about mind blown. I don't know how many times I can start off with, hey, guys, here. Hey, guys, why didn't France build the Maginot Line a bit bigger? They only built it on their border with Germany, but what if they built it over Belgium too? Seems like they would have thought of this because uh, Germany had a pretty easy time doing that to capture Paris. What the heck, France? There's a lot of things I want to say about that one, but I get we're just looking at map poop posts. Let's not take it too seriously. <laughs> it's just very difficult sometimes. Why don't all Ukrainians hide behind that mountain so Russia won't be able to reach them? If we just smashed all 40 million people in this tiny area, then Russia would have to give up, right? They'd be thinking to themselves, what are we supposed to do with all this useless land. Checkmate, Putin. And big thanks to the patrons. I am the kidnapper. I oofed Drew since no one paid his ransom. This channel's now run by AI. Australia is Zane real. Drew's I'm not a Drew. No. $20 is a lot true. Asher. Bro, 200. Bad, best, Norm. Chester. Amateur. Gilly. 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 Tiny. Garble. Inquisitor. Traitor. Isaiah. John Denver. Five Cent. The Pope. Robert. The Wayne. The Mexican. Why am I doing this? 